a casual <laughs> hook reference. Oh. Uh, hmm. Indeed. <laughs> I mean, if they really want to go for the same route, they could. I don't see why not. So you, do you mean for Fata Centaur? They could do the Nature Second. Prophet. I mean, the very Prophet? first game. Oh, the yes, first game. AM. Nature AM Nature Prophet. Prophet. It's very Five good versus everything that Vegas got. Do, but does do you... it work if you can't get the AM? Or would you pick the AM first? Let's go Spectre. Spectre? Hey, we saw Spectre yesterday. I think, yeah, we did. I think AM's better if you really want. I think AM's like Dial the better team. pick if you want to get one of the two. Ooh, it's a bad idea. Hey, Fog, how do you think Fog has been doing in the offlane? He's definitely improved a lot. I wasn't completely sold at first, and then he's looked better and better. I mean, he's a super mechanically talented player, so it's no surprise that he would get the hang of it. Was like, he was middle for NP, right? And that's the yeah, last team he was on? Yeah. He was middle forever, right? Yeah, yeah. He's always been mid. It's crazy, like, players Five like that high of caliber just switching lanes now. Like, Tomato going from being at TI middle, now he's safe lane. Fada, same thing, going to a different lane. Mm. wonder why. Opens you just, up your role, your role's taken, and you're like, man, I really want to keep playing. And you so. want to play with like good <laughs> players. You're like, oh, okay, whatever. I'll play whatever you. Oh, they take the AM. Oh, 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 oh. Call it. Nine. It's over. Anti. Right. So, how is Team Secret gonna deal with this anti mage? We've seen that. They've got Shaker. They've, They've got, got a Shaker. crazy amount of catch. Is that enough? You can. They've got somebody. lasso. They've, They've got, got that. They've got the break from Viper as well to deal with the spell shield, and they have a good amount of spell damage already. I think they have decent catch, and they still have the last hero to pick up. Yep. They still have uh, Fada, which they could grab. Or, I mean, they still have Ace. Ace's hero, so they could pick something that works well versus AM. What? Like, you don't want to fight him late game, right? You want to go for, like, a middle game carry, like a, a lifesteal or something? or Lifesteal with Bat could be really nice. Thank and it's really good yep. versus uh, Clock, but Bane's decent. What's something glaring that we're forgetting versus both Quap and AM? Both blinking heroes. Flesh. Dire team could you use an extra lockdown? Take out the mag. Don't want this AM to 1v5, pretty much, is what I'm seeing from Secret. So that'll be what? That's mag offlane? Well, mag's Oh, banned. mag's banned, sorry. Yeah. You that would have been. Uber. My bad. Thanks, Grant, You're for saving welcome. me. 10 seconds remaining. Grant's the war room expert. There you go. Five yeah, you want to put it over there. Nice. Nice. Well, well done. Watch <laughs> out. The table's been leading left a little bit, so. <laughs> it's okay. Got it covered. All right. One more ban on the side of Vega Squadron. What you you were worried about in a uh, life seater, perhaps? I think, I mean, unless we we really are missing something, I think life steal is. Because really... if you win the early game, you just push mid game, and then Wop and AM feel pretty bad during oh, the man. thirty minute mark. Oh, the could, best, man. could Ace not play? Uh, bring out the Meepo this game. Pretty good Meepo game. Oh, it's a really good Meepo game. Yeah. Is it oh, a good a Brood good game call. as well? He plays Brood as well. I think Meepo more so. Like, Meepo? I I'd, I'd like to see him play the Meepo. Oscar. Yeah. Remaining. You don't like Meepo? You don't like Meepo? Is really it going to be Battle Pop? Fury on the anti mage, right? I think if Bane just starts like level one and feeble versus Meepo middle and they deny every single creep. No, yeah, but now you take Meepo safe, man. Yes. That would act Probably not going to happen. Good. Oh, yeah, Sven Van, we didn't grab it. Sven Van. Who do they want? They want a, an offlaner. Or the I mean, yeah. You could send Quap to the offlane. Have, depends yeah. on the clock. But they want to keep it a secret. Like, they've been hiding that. Uh, <laughs> clock's so bad in the offlane now. Ooh, Omni 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 off lane. Slax. Mm. Oh. Is it a good Omni name, name Slax, as the it's, uh, expert? Uh, it's a pretty decent Omni game, honestly. Omni shits on Earthshaker. Not too bad against Witch Doctor, because heals are great against Maledict and physical protection. Pretty hard to kill him as well right now with yeah. uh, Shaker with uh, I mean, Witch Doctor. They got to be pretty smart here with that Omni pick. Omni's pretty great this game. So I need something that can... Five seconds remaining. Deal with the Omni Knight that isn't Get like the they don't want something that's pure physical. I mean, Meepo still looks Meepo sounds pretty good. Get the Meepo, boy. Uh, then that life stealer we said before. Still in the pool. Yeah. What about PL's not that bad here? It's banned. Oh. Uh, I mean, they could go jug again, couldn't they? No. You don't want to jug huh? in the Omni Knight? Come on, bruh. Why not? Oh, because they're brothers. Oh, I guess yeah. well, you can't even dispel anything now. Because they're brothers. <laughs> Because they're month. brothers. <laughs> they're not brothers. I mean, brothers don't work well together. Have you ever worked with your brother? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I mean, I'm just trying to think of Ace's heroes, right? Because there's the Meepo. Meepo! Oh, oh my god, oh, Owen! Deep. That's why he's in the war. Yo, the DM Pixel. You know god. what? You know what? We're going to keep them in the war room. Yo and God. We'll stay here? Okay. Yes. Look at that. Lock. We'll stay here. 
<laughs> I'm not sure if that's gonna work out. I, I don't want to keep you in the war room. I wanna I wanna have uh, Owen on the chairs. They have to sit oh, okay. comfortably. Get off. Okay. Get off your. There's get room off your right seat. here. I guess get that's out. what happens when you pick a meepo. You just get to chill. <laughs> Owen, come sit chair. down. Why? Can I just watch the game? No. Oh. You gotta tell me who you think is gonna win. I need the toilet. I shall not need the toilet. Oh, oh I've got to tell you who's gonna win. Oh yeah, yeah. this bit, don't we? Oh. Uh, there we are. Hi. Look. Secret. 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 I'm going for secret. It's an ace meepo. <laughs> it's an ace meepo. It's one of his signature heroes. It should be a very fun game. Regardless, though, let's uh, toss it over to our com. Oh God. That if they, these two are here. Who's sitting on the other side? Hey! hey! Best cast team for life! Whoa! Wow! Friendship! Friendship and joy and glory today, ladies and gentlemen. It's the classic Grand Slax cast. Yes. Yay! <laughs> oh, this, this should be a great game, though. Let's see, make sure Go that, ahead. Uh, these hockeys are looking good here. Yep, fogged. I haven't good cast it here. since last Dream League. Yeah, how was that? Battle. You know, the, the other caster didn't come back. So, okay, makes sense <laughs> to me. Go. All right, Grant, go ahead. Buddy. All right, middle lane. I mean, we have a Meepo. Love Meepo. Middle lane, though, going up against the Queen of Pain. It's going to be a uh, be pretty interesting. It is going to be rough, but he does. Uh, Meepo's going to have a hard time. I mean, as you said, the Enfeeble could come out against the Meepo. It's going to be a little tough that mid. But they do have Omni Knight, the greatest hero in the game. He can't lose. How is he going to lose, Grant? I actually do not know Urshiger 2 with the genuine golden gravel Ooh. ball. One of the best cosmetics in the game. Those dunks. Ooh. We've seen them time and time again. They're trying to invade here. But unfortunately, it's an anti-mage with blink first. You just get to hit Yapsor twice. And and Yapsor, four clarities and a meteor hammer, my favorite. Ooh. Nothing like it. Battle. Now I got a question here. Which one of us is the analyst? Uh. <laughs> One of well, us is the hype caster. One of us is the Well, animal. what do you want to do? Well, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not good at either of those roles. No, nah, you're great at everything. You're one of the best of all time, Slack. Oh, thanks, buddy. So uh, I like this new rune meta. That's something nobody talked about. You know, invading was kind of the standard now. And now here we go, actually. Oh, Puppy's just running in. What is Slayer is going to trap him. They're just going to go on him. Heal comes out. And you're, well, OK. All right. Puppy just drops. I was about to say people don't invade these days because it doesn't typically work out. And it really didn't work it out for him. certainly did it. There you go. Puppy's going to be giving up that first blood. And that's 1-0 for Team Vega. My goodness, you are. Feels like you took a, you know, a lot of your essence from those football casters who get super hype. I sure do. All right, that's good. Omni Knight, it's going to be a 1v1 lane down against Team Viper bottom. It's going to be mid. How does Viper go against Omni Knight? That sounds pretty bad for the Omni. Uh, but middle lane. Oh, dear. Oh, no. That's going to be game. He's going to stun him out. Nice. Stun by Yapsor. Saving Ace. And well, now Yapsor just pushed him back. He's going to lose all his mana because of that Cogs. And they're just right clicking. Puppy plus Yapsor. Can they bring him down? He has boots first on Clockwork. And Unfortunately, Puppy, playing that five roll will not have enough money for those boots. As the analytical caster, I must say the damage of right clicks was not enough to bring down that hero, Grand. True that. Top lane, actually, almost five stacks up on the Bane. Lot of trouble, but he did enough damage to Fada not do anything. And no health potion for him, unless Puppy has one. Sure doesn't. And now look at this, seven stacks. This dude is moving slow right now. But the anti-mage will come just zone him out. And now... I don't know. You, you you really want to keep this AM's farm down, right? We saw in game one of last series that they just let the AM farm all game. While over here, they're already sending two heroes on top of three. Yapsor here now as well. They throw a stun. He's going to get the double. I don't believe you can bring him down. Unfortunately, he didn't block the Bane, so he's just going to run away. Yeah. But middle. Middle. Meepo. The guy is just sitting here not getting any farm. He's 5-0, actually. <laughs> but he's level two, not even a half. Well, you know, they're putting a lot of focus on that Meepo. Meepo's a hero that can come back. All he needs is a few stacks in the jungle. He can get his way back. Animage, I mean, they're doing what they can, but he's getting a, you know, look at him. He's in a lot of trouble, but, oh, he's it's that cask. Blink. I think he was dead if that cask bath the math to him, but unfortunately it didn't. And, and it's strange, because you have an Animage, someone who's going to be like five to 6,000 up if he's in a winning game, and then you have a Meepo who's the exact same way. So which hero is going to snowball quicker? Doesn't look like the Meepo, because he is actually going down. G, unfortunately, didn't skill blink, but... Oh. Oh, gets it anyways, yep. Battery assault level one, 20 damage. I Very analyzed damage. Oh. that this guy wait, is wait, in wait, a lot Bane. of trouble. He's going to die to Roshan, though. Oh! oh! Gets the WAP, and actually, Slayer steals the invisibility rune because Yapsor wanted to kill and just ran right past it. So Vega, 
Looking pretty crispy like panko. Oh, uh, uh. This likes some Pringles up in this match, Grand Grand. Dude, the Europeans love their Pringles. They really do. They actually do. Pringles for days. And, you know, I don't mind. I'm uh, interested in this bottom lane with Vega and uh, Secret here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the two teams playing. <laughs> That's two good. teams. <laughs> Very interesting. The creeps I'm not too concerned about, Grant. Yeah. Uh, but mostly, yeah, the Omni Knight, 14 to actually the highest CS in the game. Viper, I mean, he... He's farming, he's just harassing out a little bit, but the problem is, once an Omni Knight, oh, actually, I lied, top lane, spot it just flies over. Oh. That's Firefly for you. Oh, look at him go. Nice and casket, really nice doing casket. the bounces. The problem is you can't really go on him, but he's actually going to go. He's going to sacrifice oh. his life if he really wants it. Zeg should be going down one last more right click, and now Fada going to get right click too, but the Anti-Mage was just right clicking him in the Firefly the entire time. Uh, not typically a good strategy as your analytical caster there. Fire tends to hurt the heroes. It does, indeed. Mm. Fire and ice. But Meepo still now just going what? back to the jungle to farm. Yeah, I mean, he's already far behind. Level three and a half only, while G middle is four and a half. And this is the problem. Meepo wants to go to the jungle, usually a little bit, but top lanes players are oh! in trouble. Gonna get maledicted. Right click down, needs at least one more, and he just get a TP, and he should be fine, actually. Oh, wait a second. That cask, <laughs> it will hit him. It won't kill him, but it will be an exciting moment. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Intriguing. Mid one. Oh! Hype it up. That, that was it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, Meepo running up top now. He's actually going for this four-minute bounty rune, I think. No? Okay. Just saying hello. Yapsor pick up the bounty rune instead. And it, it's pretty even right now. Vega actually leading by about 500 net worth. It's two to one. Your quops are very well. You have an AM. And you're not dying a lot. It feels like your clockwork's actually getting a ton done right now. Mm-hmm. No, Both these heroes hold. in the middle lane have the ability to attack each other and cause damage to their health pool. That's actually very important. Mm -hmm. Doing damage is one of the ultimate aspects of Dota for sure. Indeed. Meepo still farming decently, 16 and 2 versus 24, 14. That's to be expected, especially when that clockwork just keeps going middle. Pretty annoying. Meanwhile, anti mage 19 and 6 against the 12 and 1 Bat Rider. But look at Bat Rider. Even just level three, he's just going in right now. He's Ooh. actually gonna fly over both of them. Ooh. Will they be able to do anything? Yapsor's here with a stun, and it looks like this Bane might get sacrificed here. He's gonna get hit, but a nice sleep getting woken up. Yapsor at those quick reaction times, and now he'll just soar away. Looks like the Bottom real lane, man. though, my oh. friend. Wait up, heals coming oh. out. But they're just gonna right click the clockwork. Do we have enough? There's a Maldict. I believe it's only level two. But not only, because actually you rarely level Maldic. Interesting. Why is that? Oh, top lane AM mean, getting harassed out again. Uh, because the stun's just better, right? If you throw a stun, there's one creep. You'd rather it bounce four times than getting 10 extra damage on a Maledict. That is completely true, Grant. Stunning and bounces are certainly important in this game of Dota. They are. Middle, Ace still just trying to farm all away. We have pings from the team's top. Clockwork, Bane slowly rolling up. Anti-Mage, not level 6, so he can't contribute that much to fights. They're going on him again. They're just harassing him. Yapsor had those Thank four you. clarities. Now he has mana boots. He can do the same. He just keeps spamming stuns out so he can't farm while Batrider harasses him out of the lane. They need to be careful because there is a clockwork up there now, as well as the Bane. Uh-oh. Taking some big harassment here. Oh, and he actually blinked down. Oh, a He's risky to steal the rune. Yeah. He wants that rune. He Jesus. will get it. Oh, a oh. And, and now Yapsor stuns out. They might be in trouble. Especially that Bane, are they going to go for the, the Bat Rider? They're going to try to. He can't really hold him in place because he's soaring above the haters, but he's just going to try to fly away. Right clicked over by the Anti-Mage. If he had his ultimate, he'd get the kill, unfortunately. Yeah, well, he, he does is. not. Does not have it yet, but he oh, still please. could potentially get something here. Firefly is going to be running out soon. Oh, here comes here, Quappy. G. Oh! And they get him. Barely catch that on the end of that screen. That's what I've noticed. Uh, in, in this patch, it feels like a lot more of cores. They just roam around at level 6 and 7. Even TB a lot of the time, which is, is super rare, right? You always want to farm on them, but lately you just see life stealers TPing, even anti-mages TPing at like level 6. It's a strange phenomenon. Well, you know, they get a free TP scroll, Grin. Well, I think they probably used them by 7 minutes. Maybe not, though. You're Maybe right. not. Maybe not. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, top lane. Just harassing. It feels like they're doing a good job harassing the anti-mage, but he's still farming. He's 31 and 6. Not too bad here from anti-mage. I mean, it ain't great. Are you nervous now that you're secret? Being the, being the analyst here, I mean, you're letting the anti-mage farm. They're up in gold. You haven't really 
you haven't killed him. He has one kill. And now you're diving him under a tower. Stun's going to come out a little late. That's six stacks, though. My goodness, more than two chain paths. They're going to try to run back. They're going for him now. Nope, they're just going to go instead for this Bane. Should be a pretty simple kill. Firefly is going to wear off, though. Just needs to keep stacking up. And Yapsor will take the kill. Like you said, he loves taking those kills. But really look at middle already. The rotation from Slayer. He's going to pop it out. He's going to net him. I don't think you're going to have enough damage. We're going to see a raindrop proc could go out. And we'll see you later, Meepo. He goes down. Slayer taking a lot of damage from the tower. Viper's here. Can he get him? Hits with the poison attack. That's level three. Slows him enough. Will it? Ulti. And he is dead. Now he's going to man fight G. And oh my goodness. He actually tried to save him. Afterlife didn't get the heal off. He repelled him. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Got to get that heal before the repel. Repel prevents you from healing. Isn't that crazy? You'd think repel would only prevent magical damage, not, not magical, magical healing. healing. Wait, let's see if it actually says that. Now just spell immunity. Smart. Wait, wait, wait. 100% resistance to magic damage. Not magic healing? Yeah. I sprung. We got a problem, bro. <laughs> Get another patch. I get another patch, five all right? One more. <laughs> Let's get two more before the day's over, Ice Frog. Here we go. Level four, Bane. Not having the best match of his life. Omni Knight did get that offline, but what's he been doing? He building the soul ring. And he's going for the phase. He building the phase boot. And pause. You know some kind of carry Omni Knight? I mean, phase boots are just good, right? I mean, you got to go with the mana. You got to get the look at that arm. Is that what a right. soul ring's for? Woo! Homie got a right click in the right there. It really does. That he has fantastic. The adoring wing fall. The adoring wing fall. What does it adore? I don't know. You? Wings? <laughs> Wings. Falling? And now we have a pause. Uh, pauses, you know, generally are just there because someone, A, disconnected is mm -hmm. usually the biggest one. I'd say 90%. 5% bathroom break. Yeah. And 4%, you're really strategizing here. And we do have Puppy. <laughs> he likes pausing. <laughs> that is completely true. Uh, all right, this game, though. Meepo, he has the top CS in the game. But you hit that net worth, and he is only fifth on the list. He is actually so far down. That just goes to show that, I mean, neutral creeps don't mean much in this game early. I need to talk to you about that. All right. Neutral creeps. Yeah. So not like lane creeps. You're talking jungle creeps? Or, or garbage. What? Jungle creeps are garbage. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to see. I'm going to show you last hits tonight. 53 on the Meepo. He is beating the Quap by one. Quap has 4,300 net worth. Meepo has 28. That's 1,500. Wow. That's a great point. That is. So would you say never jungle? No, absolutely not. You want to jungle as a Meepo, but you wish you were getting last hits in lane as well. That's a difficult job to do. It is, especially, especially with the clockwork. The clockwork, the yeah. Bane. This is what we talked about. This is why this team could have potentially a hard time. But yeah. the jungle cannot be underestimated, Grant. With enough time and enough effort, especially with the new bounty rune locations, Meepo could come back with effective stacking and picking up runes. That's true. Mm. But so can Anti-Mage, and he's already ahead. Mm. That's the best. He can blink. He can get runes. He can farm. No Iron Talon now. Thank goodness. I hated Iron Talon. Did you? I had, uh... I, I, well. Did you ever buy it? You played Omni Knight and no. Techies. Did you, like, just never bought it? I bought it once on Alchemist. I was a jungle Alk build where all you do is build scepters for your team and uh, moon shards, and it's very effective. Did you win? All the time. I just go in the jungle, and they just play 4v5, and I just feed them eggs. It's oh hilarious God. and effective. So do you think Seeker got a little cocky with this draft? Now that I'm looking at you, pick the first three heroes the same. Vega maybe probably hit up that Dota buff, probably saw a little bit, was like, oh, we can do this, and now, now they know what they're doing. Potentially, Grant, but I feel like they're also very confident in this draft as well. Is it hubris that is going to bring them down? Probably not. They know exactly what they're doing with this kind of same open as well. They might be testing it out. They might not respect Vega as much as they should. I, I feel like the Witch Doctor Whoa. is very disrespectful. You think? To pick up that hero. So you think they're disrespecting Empire as well? I believe so. Oh, my. I believe that they're, they're wafting their, uh, their stink rag at everybody these days. It feels like, I mean, Secret got second at a major, and now they're playing to qualify for another major. What happens if you get second at two majors? Are you no matter what the second best team in the world? I believe they call it Cloud9. Oh. Modern day. Well, I think Cloud9 got second in a bunch of tournaments that weren't worth a lot of money. <laughs> but they're, they're, they're great people. They are good people. They're they good are. people. And now we do have the Veil, Veil Viper. Do you enjoy that? Like, we, you don't you miss the phase boots, Sanjinyasha, Shadowblade, I'm right clicking you, what up, dog? Now you see Veil spam Nether Toxin. Ah, no. Don't care, we're back. All right. And we are going to have the Veil almost up on Viper already, but bottom way, man, that Omni. 
he actually switched it up now. I don't know if he's going to buy the phase boot still once he pushes the creeps, but he, he switched it over to a four staff. Good. Thank goodness. Get rid of those phase boots. You don't need them. You need the mana. Four staff away. Here we go. Initiation by Queen of Pain, though. She's going to be jumping right on top of my boy, the doctor. Young P goes Young P. <laughs> In he the dirt. Have you ever used the name other than Star Action Slack? Nah. How about you, Grant? Nah. Huh? Grant Grant. Thank Grant Grant since the, the old Neopets days. That's all that matters. Yep, you, you stick with one, you go with it for the rest of the way. Here's a fun fact. If you keep punishing your Neopet, eventually they get dirty. Does that mean that you've been just slapping them and they're covered in blood? That's what I used to imagine when I was a kid. What, what is wrong with you? As a human? As a Neopet owner? Top lane, looks like we have a lot of people <laughs> rotating in. He's gonna toss out the stun. No, Puppy actually fakes, double fakes him with the Paralyzing Cast, cancel. And now Slayer, they have Vision him. I don't think he's gonna get it off in time yet, but he once again doesn't, and yaps, or point one second too late there. Here comes the jungle, Grant. As you can see, Meepo getting that farm on, trying to catch up to Animage. He's, you know, walking back and forth from several different camps, not really doing anything. Meanwhile, Animage is farming very Radiant's fast and blinking tower. around. But the Meepo's time is coming, Grant. When, when is Meepo's, as we call it, power surge? Or what is, what I do they call it? I don't believe they call it the power surge. Well, when is it? Well, when's Meepo's first, right? When he gets blink? Uh, yeah, when he's out of the jungle, able to do some blinkage and get a couple kills and then start feeding on here. Look at that Omni Knight! Hoo Blasting up that bat right. The healing Fada. I mean, you look at this. Afterlife is almost level nine, while Fada barely hitting six and a half. This Omni Knight's happy. He's having a great time. He's having an okay time. He's he going to win Look at this poor Bane. He's going to try to make some stuff happen. Nightmare here. Vega coming in. Here comes the Quap. Dagger in the butt. And he on the ground. Goodness. But middle lane, RDTP in from Slayer as well as the Omni Knight. They can't really do anything by themselves. So they're just going to, you know, farm up a little and defend their towers. I think that's smart. With an anti mage, you just defend your towers. You give them more room to farm. They can't invade your jungle. It's really smart. Bottom oh. lane, though, ulting this Bane, but sleep him up and. My man Bane just gonna run away. Hits there him with go. the veil and doesn't do anything. Come on. What's the worst nightmare you ever had? Oh, but wait, oh, Puppy's Jesus. dying to G. G's just gonna try to run him down. He has another scream up and four. The centaurs are here. He's actually gonna run him and bounces over. Nice play. Takes off his raindrop charge. That was his last raindrop charge. That was fantastic. Too. Puppy, I mean. You know. The reason some people consider him the best Dota player of all time. Yeah. Young P is a G. Yep. What can I say? Four shizzle. Anyway. Ages Worst nightmare long. you ever had. Radiant oh, like actual nightmare? Yeah, yeah. Like uh, if Bane nightmared you, what would it be of? Dire structures I don't know. Failure? Crippling depression. Not a nightmare. That, oh, I, those are I think I got, I got killed by a crab one time. Like, I was just there, and a crab, like, pinched me, and I died. I just remember, like, being <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Like a regular size. Oh, middle lane. Oh, he actually gets out. the net. He gets another net on. Do we have an ulti from Fada? We do. Pull him back. Stab him out. And see ya. That's a huge kill there. And Ace actually scoops it up. That's the best you can you can hope for for him. Not one of your supports just stealing it. Afterlife farming top. Bane. Level 5. Oh, grip should be pretty good in this game. Especially because you're going to see a lot of split pushing from Secret as well. Mm -hmm. You get one grip up. If you don't have your two supports there, guess what? Radiant's that grip's gonna be great. This is where the mental fortitude really comes in. Bane's getting, somebody's getting wrecked the entire game. Oh, he could good, good. Oh, here we go. Sun comes out. Will we be able to get him? He has repel. He just get a TP, and well, there's a canceled TP from Earthshaker. Okay. That was depressing. That was an interesting gang. Yeah, middle lane now. Klopp's just gonna TP and farm. But the game is reasonably slow paced. I mean, it's 11 kills at 12 minutes. Uh oh. But the anti. Branch, shut your mouth. Why? We have the blink dagger on Mapo. We're about to attack. see the first leak. Dyer's now, if you don't watch a lot of Mapo, this is one of the most important parts of the game. He got to get a few kills here on some enemy here. Could the blink really come through? Because yeah, there's a smoke coming on from Vega from yeah. the bottom jungle. They don't know he's got the blink dink. They don't. But if he gets caught here, he uses his like blink reveal to die. Oh, it's over. It's not good. It's over. The game's I just quit. I'm actually surprised. We haven't seen it many smokes actually from Seeker in the, the past series as well as this game. We have Yapsor who has one, but doesn't want to use it quite yet. Oh, Bane has grip as well. This could be a big team fight middle or just Puppy dying. Puppy? Young P? Rolling in the wrong neighborhood. No, he just he just walks past All right, everyone. Hey, yeah, you know, uh, not a big deal. And he plays the ward down. That might scout out. Oh, no, he's coming back down. Young P? Oh, oh, they have the ward no. there from Dyer. 
and Puppy should be going down here. Gets the Maldig off, so Clockwork needs to be a little more careful. On the backside, though, Grip is going to come out. He sleeps Earth Shaker. Grip's Batrider. What a Woo! play. Ulti from Yapsor. Doesn't seem to do too much. He's going to lock the Bane down, but he's still alive. Ulti flies out from Quaff. Gets the kill on the Batrider, but we do see Bane going down. But two for one trade, Vega. They're happy with that. Anti-Mage still. He's getting invaded a little bit top, and it feels like... I, I think you go next item Sheep on the Meepo, right? I would Locked believe down so. That, yeah, that as an avid Meepo player myself, you do oh. want to grab the Sheep by the 14-minute mark. Well, it's 14 now. Well, he's got a lot of work to do. <laughs> my goodness. That'd be a lot of farm, my friend. Oh, well, he's got a lot of sleeping creeps here with a rude awakening. Meepo continues this farm. How do you like creep sleeping? I don't know. It's easier to sneak up on them, you know, give them a little touch. I think it's really dumb. You can A click your hero your hero towards them and attacks them. The, the neutral creeps aren't trying to attack you. And A attack means an aggressive attack. But they're not being. Oh, here's the plague reveal. They're going right on Queen of Pain. She is repelled and she's going to turn around right on Meepo. Oh, it's the end of the game. GG. Calling it, huh? Sorry. That Meepo initiation right there gets screwed up. That first blink, an essential part of the game for him. It is, and now Quap actually gets a level 12 from that, so level 2 ulti will be next. And now mid one, gonna get hooked up. G's here with double damage, and mid one, my friend, you're gonna go down. The anti-mage probably doesn't want to take this kill with his ulti, but it's so hard to time, I mean. Ooh. My dude has 20% magic resistance, doesn't get it. Slayer will take it, and G, nice use of the Yules to get rid of that poison tech. And now he, he's good. You just killed their two highest farming cores, and your anti-mage was involved in that. He's level 11, has battle fury very shortly as in one creep with treads at 15 minutes i mean really just speaks to the testament of what great casters that we are i'm sure that the panel guessed that secret was going to be taking this one i wasn't paying attention but it's quite clear this time that vega is looking pretty darn good yeah they really are and you it's an anti-mage we've been talking about it so much you think the hero's broken right or not broken just very good it is very good I mean, they tried to nerf him, and I think they buffed him, to be perfectly honest with you. Right, that 15 agility at 15 is so good. Even the one one blink cooldown. Oh, my gosh. But Quap, G, he's killing it. Well, you do see the net worth, though, in favor of Radiant. Obviously, with the Meepo, he can farm so quickly. He's top farmed, Viper second, and your Omni is the top farm on Dire. Who would have guessed, like, with a Quap on your team? Whoa. You have a hook going in, though. Will they be enough to find him? It's Ace. I don't think he can get out of there. Unfortunately, he definitely cannot. And another catch by Slayer. Nice warding as well from the Dire side. We saw Meepo. He's trying to use those, all the Meepos to just pick up the bounty runes, and guess what? One of them is going to get punished. Did we Edel. accidentally put this game on turbo mode? It seems like uh, Animage is... Getting pretty far ahead here, buddy. And yeah. everyone a, else is getting pretty crushed. He has a band of elven skin. Woo! Uh-oh, middle. Sleep's gonna come out on the Viper. Does slow on the Bane a little bit. Did that block him? I don't think it did. <gasps> it does not, but Fada will bring him back to the low ground. And I am sorry, Bane, but you tanked a gank for your team. It's the best you can ask. Bottom lane, G, taking a ton of damage from Stun plus Maldick, but he'll just run away. Sure. Don't worry about it. Mid pushing into the mid. Mid one. Easy tower. Repelled Omni Knight waiting in the waiting in the winds. Not sure why he's still there. I don't think he's gonna be getting anything out of this situation. But waiting in the winds? Waiting in the winds. In the wings. Well, in the winds. Oh. If you're waiting in the wings, something could happen. That's how they got uh President Lincoln. Oh. <laughs> Get the hell out of this cast, you're the worst. <laughs> I hate you, this is a major. How, how do you feel about this though? Omni Knight, drums, power treads, Radiant blink. Oscar. So it's like very versatile with a little bit of damage sprinkled on top like the Powerpuff Girls. It, it, I've, I have not seen this build myself. I could use a little bit more uh, more Chemical X on this one. A little bit of uh, not everything so nice. He's got a lot of mobility, granted. He's kind of counting on his enemy heroes, but he's got the most farm. He's going to get a little bit of action in here, Grant. I do like the blink because if Meepo goes on somebody, you just jump in like you saw heal. Maybe not even heal. You can just repel. And uh -huh. we saw repel. They and did it on it? the Quap, and they just right click the Meepo down. Here comes the smoke ink from Vega, though. Who are they going to find? Do they have a ward again in the same spot? They do not. They don't see Yapsor behind them. Oh, Fada, my friend. Woo! Gets hooked up and looks like he will just get taken down easily. But the Rotato coming from Yapsor. He has a blink up. Is he going to go for it? He hits onto two of them. He's going to stun him. No, he doesn't stun him at all. Ace jumps in now. Finally, Omni Knight might go down. No, he gets Guardian Angel off. Heal Bomb goes down. And now Viper in the backside is going to bring down that Clockwork as well as the Bane at the same damn time. Omni Knight, two more hits. One more. No. Oh. He gets back, Maldix on him, guess what? He gets repelled, but 
Vega wins that fight. It's not over yet. G says hello to Puppy. Oh, and no. Puppy says hello right back. Unfortunately, hey, he's, he's going to make it. I'm actually really surprised. Yeah. He knew only the Viper was really alive. Batrider just respawned. He could have maybe gone for that, but sure. Puppy's juice. You know, you don't want to go toe to toe with Puppy. You just let him go. Uh, yeah, that seemed like a real good fight. You know, Secret took more than it. Then they lost, but you have Any Mage farming that Secret entire time. Secret didn't take more than they lost. <laughs> well, I mean, they lost three. I mean, and the Meepo I'm died. not good at math. No, no, that was weird. Like, the Earthshaker got his ulti off. It looked like he canceled his Enchant Totem. It didn't get stopped by anything. Let's go ahead and take a Strife uh, playback right. here and really see what happened. Yeah. As you can see, this is the moment. In comes the Clockwork skill. Yeah, well, let's see. Here we go. Here comes the ulti. I want to see if he cancels it. Ulti? No, oh. Clockwork got his Q off. Clockwork got the battery assault off, and that was they lost the fight because of that. Well, you that know, one Clockwork. It was evenish. It was evenish, but they didn't kill any cores. They only killed the Bane and Clockwork. That's such a good fight from from Vega. Yeah. That's crazy. One one ability. If if he didn't get that battery assault off, they would have won that fight insanely well. Absolutely. And now, oh, are they going for the smoke into Roche? That would be. That'd be it. Not really a Hail Mary, more of like a 20 yard pass. Yeah. They're in soccer. It'd be like a midfield pass. Who's popular? Midfield is Ronaldinho pass. still good? Who? Ronaldinho. This is, Ronaldo. Like a, this is a Pele kick right oh. into the, uh, the soccer zone. The crotch. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. They're just going for the Roshan. It's going to get scouted out by Clockwork, though. Can they go for it? Ace is so low. If they somehow got in there, here we go. They're going to get a snatch. FG actually picked up. He's going to go down here, but his team needs help. And anti just split pushing bottom. Bottom wow. will pick up that kill on Slayer. Ace goes down. And the Quap having a great time on the wow. backside actually finally goes down. I thought he already lost that Aegis. And now Afterlife heals up. We do see a sleep coming out. Nicely done. And will they get it? Well, that cast flying over. It's actually going to perma stun those two. Will they be able to get Afterlife? He's running. Fada wants to pick him up. Heals himself. Has Blink Dagger up. Good luck. And Puppy just TPs. That is another, that's a two for one trade stolen Aegis while Anti Mage is taking your tier three. Well, I gotta tell you, you know, maybe maybe there is a god because this is gonna be a pretty quick cast. Well, there I is. Mean, this... He's playing Quab. <laughs> that's correct. The audience at home, congratulations. This ain't, this ain't gonna last long. I mean, this game is not looking good for Secret at all. True. If you, I mean, Anti Mage, the, the highest scaling core in this game. I wouldn't say of all time. People get mad if you say that, but really? Meepo. The power Jeez, peak. That's what I was thinking of earlier. That's peak. not the surge. What the a dumbo. Power surge. <laughs> the power the surge. The power peak. Yeah, and you, I mean, just looking at hero levels, Meepo's losing to Anti Mage, which is, is mind blowing. Like Meepo's one of those heroes, like TA, who just gets such a stronghold on levels. Maybe not the most farm, but levels, or you just jump up, and I mean, he's not. It feels like they're trying to team fight a little too much in this Omni Knight. When you have this, it's not even four protect one. They're just four fighting. It They're is. not protecting anyone. He's just doing his own thing. Right. You know, all he has to do is land the repel at the right moment. And a lot of their initiations are just cut completely off, especially with Meepo who has to do that burst damage. So really, he just has to exist. And he's doing a fantastic job doing it. It's a hell of an Omni Knight game. He is. And I mean, the first pick hero, Witch Doctor, his Maledict. I mean, you put on one hero, he gets repelled for that tick. Nothing. No. Feels good. Oh, top lane, though. We're going in. We're going to have a grip coming on that bat rider already. Fada should just drop here. No, he four steps oh. away. Afterlife running, but Bane should drop. Does. Does a TP come up? No. Fada is back. Holds him in place from the last, though. Guess what? That's a, that's a little dead. bit of a cut. And he misses Lockwork. the hook. Look at that. Ooh. There we go. Okay, Grant. Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe this game has a little bit more life into it. Oh, wait. There's a level 17 anti mage. Okay. Spoke well. too soon, spoke too much. The classic slacks, as we call it. Oh, okay. I grand grand Chucky from the Rugrats. Boo. I don't sound like that at all, do I? Oh, People yeah. say I'm nasally, not you. Boo. All right, there we go. Viper, he's going to find a haste rune. He's level 17 now, though. This guy. He's a lot better than he was in the late game before because he can actually farm items. Use Nether Toxin. There you go. Creeps are dead. That's fantastic. So much easier. Now, Ooh. I mean, you get an MKB. He's going for Mjolnir. And I mean, you can you can counter push this anti mage. You can team fight really well. Look at this. Yapsor plus mid one are going to find the clockwork. He's over the Fisher. Oh, he doesn't have vision. And now he slept as well. Oh. It's with another toxin. One more, two oh, yeah. more. He's gonna Whoa. hook away, but he still goes down. And man, secret with these last second ganks. Bottom lane, anti mage. 
isn't going to be seen, but guess who is? It's G. He's going to get stunned. No, nice. Yules really time it correctly. He gets that up. Yeah, so we're going to ulti. Does more damage because the anti mage's illusions. And he might be, G might be a little bit mad as anti-mage there. Yeah, you know, if he didn't have those illusions, it doesn't do damage. zero damage. He actually murdered him from across the map. I mean, he would still be perma-stunned, though. Maybe. More than likely dead, but still a little mistake in secret. Last five kills, I believe, moving around the map like the G in lasagna, my friend. Indeed, indeed. Now, there could be that situation, that epic game where anti-mage is farming the entire time and then just messes up once and loses. It could happen here. I'm not even saying it will happen. It probably won't, to be perfectly honest with you. But that situation has been seen before, even on Dream League. F-Blade on Amipha, by the way, instead of Sheepstick. He He's got it. E-Blade? Uh, he called it the F-Blade? The F-Blade, yeah. Okay. Right now, nothing's going on. There's a lot of people right now going on, though, because it's actually the Bane dying. My goodness gracious. Everyone keeps dying one at a time, Grant. What is going on? Vega is starting to fall apart. Yeah, it feels like it. This is really weird. They were doing such a good job of just 4v5 fighting, but they haven't even, like, tried to do that again while Anti-Mage farm works. You can have the clockwork popped Could out the battery, so... Okay. Like famous Icarus that they flew too close to the sun? Wait, I thought that was his son who flew too close to the sun. Icarus? Yeah. I thought it was the sun who flew too close to the sun. That would be a very hard poem. The sun I who flew swear too close I, to the sun? Yeah. I could be wrong, though. Who knows? Maybe Icarus was the sun. No, Icarus is not the sun. But the moon. Okay, All middle right. lane. <laughs> Viper. Oh, Dota 2 is a great game. He does a lot of damage now. This is actually ner I mean, Vega's only up by less than 1,000. And they're getting some decent wards down. Unfortunately, they just got one countered by Slayer, who... Counter warden up, and now we have four of them sitting together right now. And nothing really going on. I think Secret, now they're back in. They're like, okay, the anti mage actually isn't that far into 25 minutes. He's going for that butterfly. He's 14,800 net worth, but Viper, only about 2,000 behind him. That's not too shabby. You smell that, Grant? What? I smell disappointment going to be coming out in this match. All of a sudden, I'm looking at that anti mage, and I'm getting that, that stinky smell. That stinky smell like he's going to disappoint. Oh. I don't like it. I think it's just you. <laughs> yeah, that has actually did. I forgot to wear any deodorant today. Maybe I'm just smelling my own disappointment. Yeah, probably. All right. Or your parents. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, you're casting a toad <laughs> But middle. Ace just chilling here with the Meepos. Going to send him out now to farm. Radiant Level 20. Standing. What did he get? 40 damage. Some good damage. Yeah, you know, that's something. Thwack him up a little bit with your little shovel. It's a shovel, right? It's, it, when you only that's get great. one right click in the entire team fight before you're instantly killed, I guess it pays to have it have 40 more damage. But is it a shovel or a spade? Ooh, that's a fantastic question. It just says, when you click on his things, it just says Meepo's weapon. I'm actually just kidding. That's not a fantastic question. I hate you. Well, what is it? A spade. Oh, okay. Shovels oh, jumping. middle lane, they're actually going in. Slayer's going to find Puppy, and we are going to see the heal bomb come out. Woo! Unfortunately, guess what? Mid one's going to hurricane pike him away. Good teammate there. Earn him up. Now Slayer's in a little bit trouble. Oh, my God. The pure damage from Bane, though, melts him up. But guess what? You're going to get punished for that. And he goes down one for one trade. How many times has Bane died this match? A few. And now top lane, G has double damage. Has to be careful. Fod is here. And yeah, they can't even take this tier one. They actually have not taken tier like any towers besides the bottom on Vega. And that's just the anti-mage split pushing. Crazy. Middle lane. Mid one farming up as well as pushing that tower himself. Oh, and Afterlife's going to move forward. Do we have any stuns? Mid one trying to run away. And I don't know what he's doing. He's just trying to run away, but he's getting a little bit of HP back from that talent. Gets the ulti off. And damn, that's... I don't think you want your Viper dying to the AM there. He's the, the main reason you're still in here. On the backside, though, they're going for A still. Oh, and the nice. hook shot comes out. He hits both of them. He's trapped him in. Guess what? Ulti from G and Vega. They're back. They get two kills in a row now. Tier one need to go down. No, I lied. It's going to live for three more seconds. And he's going to blink forward, actually. Yule's going to be flying into the air. Will Batrider somehow get away? He's going to lose all of his mana here. Wands up. Uh-oh, the cask is bouncing. It bounced over to the Blink Master, but G now getting stunned up as well. They kill him. Yapsor hits the Enchant Totem, and they're just going to run away. And this should be a tier two tower as well going down middle. You know, maybe I was wrong. Animage certainly seemed to comment, you know, maybe maybe I spoke a little too soon there. Maybe I 
It caressed it up myself. I need a butterfly. Butterfly is so good on Antwinch, especially with the, some people, it, it's another burp. Uh, flutter is less movement, or just less time on the move, but you keep your evasion, right? Mm -hmm. That's good. Now blink forward, puppy. Oh my. He is still alive. He's healing it up. Oh, sup, Afterlife. <laughs> Heals him, gets in. This tier three, unhealable damage. Tier fours as well now. I love it. Uh, that's fantastic. You're welcome. Everyone's actually welcome. Yeah. Like the tier fours don't have regen. I actually saved him. I'm sure Ice Frog is like, let me hear about what Grand Grand's thinking right now. I love the guy. Let me think about what everyone on this cast is saying the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Middle lane. They're going to bring that tower down, and they're just going to get out. That's smart. You can now clear shrines out if you want. And look at that. The dire actually scans. Are they already trying to defend this? Could it be? Yeah. Well, wow. They're no. going to bring down the shrine, and oh, the oh, Omni Knight, yeah. the Eon Disc. Aeon Disc. I, I like Aeon, but Radiant we were correct. It is Eon. It is in Eon Flux or an Aeon Disc? That's what I'm saying. Do you get it through the Aeons or through the Eons? Yes. But it is Eon. Aeon? Yes. All right. The A before on, except in the Dr. case Tom. of Eon. <laughs> <laughs> Invisibility rune, will it be picked up by Bane? No, it looks like he's going to leave it for the Quap's bottle, who almost had, oh, he has a full orchid in his stash. There is the sheep stick on Meepo. That's a big one. Yep. That uh, was a little bit late. Do you think going the F blade was the right call instead of the sheep stick? Not really, especially not against the Clockwork, who has had blade mill for a little bit. Like, that's one of the guys you instant kill, but it hurts yourself as well. And now we might have a fight coming in middle. It looks like Anti-Mage, he's, he's waiting, anticipating. Oh, who is that little courier? Oh, and my it goes God. Down. Was it a bait? Did he do that on purpose? Can they bring him down? He gets the man top. He blinks away. Yapsor, the huge ulti slayer, goes down. They're trying to bring anyone they can down. Yapsor just running around on the backside. Mid one right clicking through everything. Guess what? It's the sheep stick. See you later, Afterlife. Bane now four staffs himself over. Will he get away? Looks like a bat rider on the other side, though. Yule's up in the air. G wants to get this kill. Can he? That's going to be level four shadow strike. Yule's himself. Now watch out. Ace is flying over. Oh, and the blink away. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, you and know that, what? Two for one trade. Oh, for sure. In good. favor of Secret. Yeah, Sheep Stick, we saw pay off in the backside and getting that Omni Knight, like even just zoning him out that whole time. They couldn't burst him down because of the Eon Disc, but he couldn't do anything either. Yeah. And now the Roshan. Secret, they're loving it. They're, they're down by 5K. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry. I was just I was just focused. It went up to 6K and down to 5K. It just blew my mind. Wow. 1,000. One goals. entire. Number. Just With, look at that! That's what I call the screaming man. He can see the nose and the chin. Where? He can't, he can't see. It's like a cloud. The screaming man? That's the mouth over there? He's got like an afro? What? <laughs> what? Is, what? what? <laughs> use your imagination, dude. I love looking at clouds. All right. You know, use your imagination. I haven't seen A lot like Vega, they are dreaming of this win, Anti-Mage. He's still farming decently, almost has that full Abyssal Blade. Almost level 25 hook shots coming in. Hey, puppy, good to see you again. He doesn't have that Glimmer Cape, just a Shadow Amulet, but he's he is just shadowing on him. Goes down still the Slayer, that urn. And they get a, a nice pick off. It's only puppy, though. I mean, it's one kill, but still 300 gold. They make a little bit of room. He doesn't have buyback. If they want to force a fight, which they maybe do middle, mid one has to hurricane by himself away. G hits him with the Yules, but they're gone, Ace. Ace was right there. That was a uh -oh. good call uh -oh. by G. Whoa. Oh, the Lincoln Spear revealed right there. Well, he's had it for a while, but yes. Well, you know, revealed again. Revealed again. Clearly. A lot like Darth Vader when he was revealed as the dad. A lot of people didn't know that. Uh-oh, Sheep Stick coming in. Clockwork in a ton of trouble himself. Goes down quickly. Middle, though. They actually have Batrider. They gripped him up. He goes down. So one for one. And Dire. They get a top tier one as well, so that's an easily won fight for Vega. There you go. Shout out to our observer. Great job uh, keeping those kills. I don't know who it is back there. Is that Weppy? It's actually me. Oh. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> is that what we do now? We just take credit for the observers? <laughs> we just pretend yeah, why they not? don't exist? Dang. Some people, I mean, they're like the, part of the Shadow Council, you know? They don't want to be who seen. Who is the Shadow Council? <laughs> All the observers, they don't wish to be seen, but they wish to be praised while we, still keeping their commitment to Dota. We are the statsmen and the observers. You may refer to us as the Shadow Council. I, I, hate, you. <laughs> I hate you so much. But, oh, if I wasn't contractually obligated to cast one game with you, I'd... <laughs>
I'll kick your ass right now. <laughs> Ah, but Omni Knight still fun. Yeah, level Great 20. Yeah. 12% degen or 6 mana regen's a lot, but at level 20, like, seems like a kind of garbage talent that late. Indeed. 6 mana, that he has 1 point. I don't know, that seems really weird, right? I mean, it's for people that get it, don't have good mana uh, control, you know? Pub players like us, you don't want to grab that. I get it every time. Vega gets a, a kill there. there on Bat Rider. I didn't want to interrupt you. Saw it coming. That's you the reveal of the Abyssal that. Blade. Now. Oh, but a smoke gank up. They want to look for him. Uh oh, they're going to go uphill. Slayer's here. Mid one as well. Are they going to be able to bring him down? Are they going to ult him? Clockwork. Oh, hits him with the blade. No mid one taking a little bit of damage. Oh, sup, Ace comes in. Blinks. Hits him with the poofs. He's dead. Nets are a fly. Woo! Don't hit anyone. Blink forward, actually, by the anti mage. This guy's nuts. Glimmer capes there on Yapsor. Oh, T5G oh. brings it down. We have a grip. He is rebelled up, unfortunately, but Viper will just go down anyways. And now, G, he is Black King Bard. Ace getting right quick. S plates the correct one. Will he be able to get away? They bash one on the backside. They're trying to bring him down. He doesn't have mana. They do less damage. Gets him, though. But guess what? Second life. It's okay. Here comes Puppy. Abyssal Blade. They get it off, and my god, they're actually hurting the anti mage quite a bit. He needs to be careful now. They get the kill. And that's a four, I'd say five for one. They killed him twice. Yeah, that's a rough for one. That's for sure. And now they can just push. And now we're seeing the power of this anti-mage. He still has room for boots of travel as well as one more item. He's going the BKB. You like that? I love it, Grant. Why? You know, BKB is a heck of an item. It is. Oh, backdoor protection. Now gone. Eat it. Oh, nice way. Nice job. Just backs down so it doesn't do anything. Buyback from Viper. They're going to try to go. They get him with it. But a repel comes out so they don't have damage on the backside. Nice ulti coming out from Urshaker. Just kidding. He goes down to the anti-mage who just right clean. They take the melee barracks. Enfeebles up. They ulti anti-mage. Yules him. And he's gone. Yeah, Andy Mage walking away. Omni Knight just what? making sure they got nothing on him, homie. That was all Omni. The Omni it's blinking awesome. forward to get the repel up on that Andy Mage, and he's going forward again. Oh, he's going to block the hook, unfortunately, from Slayer. And, man, repel is actually doing so much work this game. And if he has a, a BKB, that is going to be like, how do they control Anti Mage? You really don't. You can't. Yeah. I mean, every time you play a good Omni Knight, he'll tell you, buy your own BKB. And then you're invincible. They're trying to bring down this tower, but backdoor protection is there. He's going to throw the stun up. Bane is definitely going to go down. Will anyone else, though? Doesn't look like it. Maybe Omni. He's getting tower. stunned up. The oh. cast are a fly in, my friend. Oh, no. The repel. He's going back for it. See you later, Fada. No. Gets four staff. Actually, Hurricane Pike. But Viper going to try to run back now. We do see a lot of lightning procs coming out, but it's still not doing any damage to his BKB. The chase! There we go. Anti Mage blinks forward. And by that, I mean backwards. Slayer gonna try to run away. The cast are bouncing oh! between them. They're gonna perma stun him. He has repel again. And he's just right clicking him down. Yapsor goes down. Mid one in a lot of trouble. And this Omni Knight is just, it's just owning. Just a terrible hero. I mean, he's not that good. I wouldn't nerf him. If I was Ice Frog, he's the hero shit. Uh oh, here we go though. Oh my goodness, the Lincolns get popped. They stun him up, and Ace was going what for are you something. Thinking, Ace? Is, is this where they call the G's? Do they drop them? I don't think they drop those G's just yet, you know? Even with Viper dead, 80 cents, they know he doesn't have buyback. They, they could go do Roche. Oh. Uh, uh, you know, Vegas? They could, after they... Oh, tier two tower stands top, my friend. That's why. Oh, sweet googly moogly. They're just going for the tier fours. Get him! Get him, puppy! Bounces out. Nicely done. Walks away so they don't bounce between each other. There goes one tier four. And even if they don't win this, 6.2k up on the anti mage. He'll probably get this tower too. Here we go. He actually gets the correct one. Will they be able to bring him down? He gets slowed up. Silence as well. Get a Yules himself in here. Oh! Another heal comes out. Okay. They're going to throw another Witch Doctor into the air. But Queen of Pain's in a lot of trouble. Doesn't have a Yules. Has a BKB. Just blinks away. And see you later. Illusions trying to kill that tier four. No regen on him. So any damage is good damage. Oh, Abyssal Blade up. Yapsor four steps away. Here comes Afterlife. He wants him. Can't get him. We're going to see a grip up on Fade. He will live in the fountain barely. And now they kill that last tier four. My man AM, 6.7K. And all these people saying secret, easy, win are looking like fools. Shambles. Shambles on they this game. They are in it. I have to agree with you there, Grant. Analytically speaking, as your intelligent caster, a Team Vega oh, won the game. Oh, from Yapsor. Can oh, yeah, they oh, please oh. get Bane before the game's over? No. Chazazango. Yeah. But good game, well played, comes out. And, I mean, you, Vega's out of, Vega is out of the tournament, right? But Secret is not. And getting even one loss here, that's not good. You don't know. You need to be in that top four.